In the outer reaches of the solar system, a new moon is discovered, hurtling towards Earth. We've got about six months before this moon is scheduled to impact the Earth. The effects will be catastrophic. The planet's hopes rest with an outcast crew of space miners. Only they can change the trajectory of the moon. Here. We scanned this rock. There was no sign of indigenous animal life. This was a carnivore. We got a visitor. Oh my god. It's territorial and it goes with a feeding scud. If we're out there, it'll show. become the hunted as the countdown to destruction begins. A universe of terror lies waiting within the rock. From Apex Entertainment, rated R. So basically what happens is a monster wakes up through its slumber after, you know, they basically harvest all the titanium that's in the in the in the giant box in this box, and uh, you, the monster basically comes out, comes out of its hibernation because they pumped in oxygen into the into its tomb, and so then when they shut off the atmosphere generator, I guess it it, it came back to life because it doesn't it does it breathes nitrogen. So the planet that it's on, I guess, has nitrogen in it. So it breathes nitrogen. So it, 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 it's, it's, you know, it doesn't breathe oxygen or CO2 or carbon dioxide. And they use that to their advantage later. When they find out about that the creature can't breathe oxygen, they basically, cleverly, I thought it was clever, they basically use fire extinguishers to push it back, you know, or to distract it or get it get it away from them while they're running to, you know, to escape. And, yeah, you, you basically, the first person who dies, the monster kills is Potter, but you see the aftermath. It's a pretty gory aftermath. And probably the second goriest moment of the film because you just, the guy falls down and you see, like, his whole face is missing. I was like, ooh, all right. And they did a solid job, but, you know, one of the guys walks in and, because it does a solid job of disguising the guy's dead because one of the guys walks in and he says, like, you're leaking flu cooling everywhere because basically Paul Potter and Ryan are set to fix the atmosphere generator because it stopped working. And so then they're trying to fix it, and the Potter gets killed off screen, but you see the aftermath, which is pretty gory. And then Calvin Level, sadly, he gets killed, but you don't really see it. That's one of the problems I have with this film. I was really originally going to give this like a little higher ranking, but the kills in this suck. They suck. They really do. They they scream lazy or they scream low, but I don't know. It's a low budget film, but man, that's not an excuse for these lazy kills. I mean, literally, you see the monster, it, it like bear hugs people, or or you see like you know like I guess it's puncturing them with its horns, but you know all you see is like blood filling up the face plate or something. And when he kills Calvin Levels for some reason, he starts spitting up like spit like he has like freaking rabies. Like I was like, first off, I was thinking, I was like, well, since he likes to eat a lot of Twinkies, is he just they, he punctured him and he's like he's pu like spraying pu Twinkie filling out of his mouth? Just going, <laughs> I was like, what is this? The monster looks good. It's a good effect. It's just it doesn't do anything. It's like it, this isn't as bad as Project Metal Beast because at least there's something. The monster does something. It kills people. But the kills just aren't good. That's the thing. It kills people, but the kills aren't interesting or involving. You know, they could have had a little more... You know, it's, it's just static. It's too static. The monster moves so slow. It, it, it really, honestly... It could have, like... It, I don't know. Like, they had the whole idea where it bur burrows underneath the ground and comes up. That would have been better. Like, have a scene where someone's out looking around. It comes up and grabs some dude. And the guy's trying to run away. And the monster rips off his leg or something. It needed more 
I guess kind of needed a little bit more gore. It needed a set piece for the monster to actually be, you know, one of those, oh shit, like this thing shouldn't be fucked with. And it, most of the time it was just at, that one time was when you saw the guy's face got ripped off and that was an aftermath shot. And the other times are just kind of really shitty editing. It's like the monster grabs the Calvin levels and then like bull rushes, it pales him with his head and then like he's just dying and then you're like, it's just not interesting. So, um, and the kills continue to get lamer. I mean, like, some of them are, like, self-inflicted or something. Like, you have basic sequence where you have Ryan, who goes out and tries to shoot the thing, and it just bounces, you know, all the stuff just bounces off. Bullets bounce off it. He gets, ends up, you know, they bounce off and end up getting shooting him in the, in the, in the shoulder or the chest area. And, you know, they'll think he's dead, but he wakes up and... Somehow he manages to escape from the monster because you find it later in the film that he's he's still alive and they're trying to add some extra suspense in the end, which is pointless and does does doesn't add anything to the climax at all. It's like he's still alive. I'm like, oh well, well, you know, really, you really think the monster it's out there the whole time? It's all of a sudden gonna be like, well, there's a free meal running around, but you know, I, I just think you know, I'll let him run around by himself and just go. And the fact is, you find out later in the film that the monster, and I thought this was really clever, what this monster with this beast does is it doesn't just kill you. It kills you, then it buries you, so then it can eat you later. Because it's, it's a carrion. It, it's like a vulture. It, it only likes eating carrion. So it, only, so it let, you know, buries you and lets you ripen, and then it'll eat, your, eat you later. So I was like, oh, that's a different nice, that's a different touch. But then why didn't it do the same thing with that guy? It dragged that way some guy, one other guy, and buried him later. And, of course, had him for lunch. But this guy got shot. The, he would still have shot the monster, and he gets shot, and he he's, you know, gets knocked out. And the monster doesn't drag his ass later for a meal. I just, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a problem there with the plot. Might not really nip, probably just a nitpick, but really the whole idea of having him alive later in the film just was pointless in my opinion. But I guess it really isn't because you end up he ends up being the reason why they can finally fucking kill the bastard. But I'll get into that later. So basically, they first try to attack the monster. You know, like I said, the guy shoots him. Ryan shoots him. Xander Berkeley shoots the monster. Doesn't do anything. So then basically, the you know Nukem comes in. She's got this new explosive cannon, and you know the whole a little bit of suspense where they're you know the brothers, the Harrison brothers, are shooting you know. So they, they're shooting it with uh, CO2. One of the guys runs out of CO2. His brother comes in and helps him out. Then he, he, he lets his bro- other, you know, lets his brother go over there, escape. And then his brother ends up, you know, he's he's like he can't. He's like I can't. It's like come on, man, come on, Cody, run. It's like I can't do it. Then he he smartly takes off his necklace, ties it around the CO2 can, you know, the, around the fire extinguisher, the part where you know it, it you know, the trigger where the trigger is. And so he just makes it so it's automatic. And so he runs, he gets away from it. And, you know, Nukem shoots the, you know, little bomb. And it hits the outside of a rock wall. And he's like, you missed! No, I didn't! And then, boom! And then, you know, the the, the film did a clever job of Matt, the, how, showing how the monster basically blends in with the rocks. And she, but this is kind of stupid. The fact that, you know, Nukem's all like, after she blew it up, it's like I'm gonna go see what the aftermath is. Or want to look, you know, like what? See what's left of it? It's like just no, just don't do that. That's just stupid. That's such a cliche. Oh, let's see if it's okay. Oh no, of course it's not dead. You know, it comes. It looks like there's a rock on top of it, but really, it is the rock. The monster is the rock, and she ends up basically trip, falling over, tripping over her own feet or something. Where the monster throws her around, and this scene was either just bad editing or I don't know what. She's got her gun, which she used before, which is pretty cool, actually. She's got a little gun that shoots drill bits, but there's, like, explosives on the end of them. And they drill, self-drill, and I thought it was pretty cool. But she she pulls it out of her belt while the monster's, like, on top of her or something. And she shoots, it looks like she's shooting through her leg. Because you could see, like, it looks like she's drilling through her leg. She's, like, trying to just... I don't want to die like this. I, you know, I'll just, you know, and not really matter. The monster is gonna kill you and then eat you later when you're you're all nice and fresh and ripe. So it doesn't really matter. 
if you kill yourself. So I don't really understand. And it looks like she's drilling through her leg. And you, you think, like, it's explosive. She's going to, you know, you can have a scene for good gores. Boom! She blows up and tries to, you know, distract the monster or something. Or the explosion knocks the monster back or something. But, no, she doesn't blow up. I'm like, what is this, a dud? Would you shoot yourself with a drill bit that's a dud or something? It's never explained. It just shows, like, blood showing up on her faceplate. And then, ah, and then she's dead.